Hi guys, uh, hello, my name is Paul, and uh, you may remember me from such videos as my last video on this channel. Um, but today I've been asked to show you guys the Binding of Isaac, and uh, I'm going to do a challenge here. You have challenges in the game, so I'm going to pick the Doctor's Revenge, because that's an easy one, and I like easy things. Um, but uh, I was asked to show you the Binding of Isaac today, and uh, Binding of Isaac is a 2D dungeon crawler, Legend of Zelda type game, uh, if anybody's played the original Zeldas, Zeldas, what if Zelda was a boy? Or a girl, sorry, I messed that up. Um, but what was I gonna say, uh, I, I was asked to make a, sorry, my eyes spaced out there, I was asked to make a video on this, uh, just explaining what it was, because apparently, uh, the channel wants some bratty, so here we are. Um, so it's a 2D dungeon, no, not really a dungeon crawler, but it's, it's a sort of adventure game. Um, the unique thing about this game is there is no two runs that can be the same. For example, what I mean by that is every room you see here is randomly generated. There is a set of rooms and uh, in them, uh, well, in the rooms there is, uh, ah, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna kill myself. Don't Paul, don't do it. Oh god, see, I'm already down half health. My fault. I need to pay more attention here. There we go. He should be dead now. Oops. But I have the Dr. Fetus power up, which allows me uh, to basically fire bombs. <laughs> um, but 2D uh, adventure game. It's uh, made by one of the guys that made Super Meat Boy, if anybody has played that. And uh, yeah, it was published, I think it was September of last year. And uh, there was a DLC uh, released, I believe it was about a month ago. So, I, I'm gonna try and do a run in under 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna have to cut some parts. But, um, basic premise is you go through each level of the game. You uh, try to get power-ups. These power-ups make you more powerful. And in return, you try to beat up bad guys. So, you know, typical storyline. Uh, oh, secret room. Every, uh, every room in the game has a secret room, by the way. And if you do this, you can bomb in the shop as well. There you go. So... If we want to buy anything here, which I don't think I do, do I? I'm gonna blow these fires up. Because sometimes you can get some coins inside the fire. But not today, Sonny Jim! I'll buy that uh, blue heart, which is a spirit heart. And that, uh, that allows you to take some damage, but once you take damage, it's gone. Um, but I've been playing this uh, game a lot on my channel uh, for the past... Oops, this guy here is a problem. I haven't played it for the past couple of months. Seems to get a lot of positive feedback. I understand that it may not be the most popular game out there, but it is one of the funner games out there right now for me. Like, uh, you know, I, I, I believe this game is $3, and I have about $100 of playtime in it. So the expansion pack's $2, and the actual game's $3. This guy here, you trade him hearts, he can give you items, but, you know, I really don't fancy trading my hearts right now for uh, meaningless items. And these spiders are a real bother. Screw them. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm actually surprised I didn't die there. And I got the secret room, randomly. Oh yeah! This is uh, just a random room here with lots of hearts in it. You see, I actually wish I kinda traded that, uh... I kinda wish I traded that, I didn't blow that guy up, because then I could've traded all those hearts for better items. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm just going to go as far as I can in under 10 minutes, uh, just to give you guys a general look at what the game's like. I really should speedrun, but, you know, that would make a horrible game, in my opinion, because I am bad at speedrunning. You don't want to see me speedrunning at all. Um, but th there are a lot of challenges in the game. There are a lot of M's. I've, you know, I, I've played the game for about 100 hours, and no two runs have been the same. I mean, you can play this game for hundreds and hundreds of times, and, you know, no two runs will be the same. I tried to get that guy with a nuke. Dropping nukes! Now, this is gonna be a hard boss battle because this guy, I think he's called Skrillex. Skrillex, sorry, Scroll X. This guy here, it's kinda hard to get him because he doesn't, he doesn't uh, show his face too much. I'm just gonna spam bombs everywhere like that. Three hits and he should be done. There we go. And we get the Jesus juice. So you have a stat in the game, as you can see there we have uh, speed, fire rate, attack and range and then you have some other stats that aren't on there like luck and uh you know uh, i can't i can't remember but you have luck and stuff like that um 
By the way, normally you would shoot uh, these white balls called tears, but I have a power up called Dr. Fetus right now, which allows me to shoot bombs instead of tears. So just just letting you know, you know, in case you in case you get confused. Um, so let's see, what we got here red patch again. You have these things called trinkets, and they're sort of like perks. They're static items that you can pick up throughout the game and they'll add a bonus. And I, as far as I'm aware, red patch makes you take less damage, but I'm not really too sure on that. So don't quote me on it. Uh, let's see in here. We have these guys. Uh, these guys, you know, hit them twice with a bomb. They go in the goo form uh, once, you know, once you actually blow them up or you know kill them for the first time. So watch out for that. These uh, blue rocks here will contain blue hearts. Uh, this go tooth. This will increase uh, your damage. So that's a good perk to have or a trinket as they call them in the game. Um, have no money, so I'm just gonna go in and face the boss now. I, this guy is called—I uh, can't even remember his name—but you know, this guy's dead, pretty much. All I have to do is run about, plant bombs like this, and he's pretty much dead. I mean, this power-up I have is extremely overpowered. Not even gonna try and you know make an excuse for it. It is really overpowered for what it is. And as you can see, though, I just completely took down those guys. Uh, we get another—you know—we get another, you know, another uh, pickup here, which is HP up. Uh, let's see here. We have four minutes left. Let's see how far we can go. Let's get this guy out of the way. Boom. Try and find the boss room. Let's go. Now, these guys are hard just because... I mean... Uh, okay, maybe they're not too hard. <laughs> so, let's see. We have four minutes left. Where can we... I want to get another boss fight in before I leave. So, I want to... Ah, go! Boom. Oh, my God. We, this could be the end, my friends. These rooms like this are not pleasant at all. So you can just get mobbed in by all those guys. Uh, death, this will do damage. Uh, there's things called tarot cards in the game, which, uh, you know, do special effects. So you have, like, death, which will deal uh, damage to the boss. There's three of those down. Oh, God. I almost blew myself up. Nothing in there. I think there could be a secret room there. Yep, there is. And we get one up, so it means if we die, we have an extra life and we can respawn and play the level again. Uh, if you die, you lose everything, all your stats, all your items and stuff like that, so... That's nice to have. Again, we probably won't be using it in this room 3. I'm probably just gonna get another boss battle and close off the actual, uh, video. But, uh, oops. Who's got me there? Hopefully we won't have to use the one up. But, again, you unlock new items and stuff as you go through the game, um... There's loads of challenges in the game, and if you do the challenges, you get, you know, certain items and stuff like that. I think, oops, I can't even get to that blue heart. Overall and all, there's, uh, you know, there, there's different levels in the game. There's, like, basement, caves, labyrinth, you know, so many different stuff. Cellar. Each has a unique type of enemy, you know, to that level. And you'll see a lot of recurring enemies throughout the game, but uh, each boss is unique on each floor and stuff like that. I hope I can get all these guys. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Chain reaction. There we go. Jumps a blue heart. And the boss room should be up here if I'm, if I'm correct. These guys are a real pain in the ass. They run so fast as well. So as you can see, there's a glitch in the game that once you actually kill these guys, once you get them done into their goo form, that uh, you can't like bounce bombs off them anymore. Uh, usually a bomb should stop right in the spot, but as you can see, it's going right through them there. So I kind of have to do that and then Try and do that. What do we got here? Some keys. Might as well check what's in the item room. We have nothing too great. The letter allows you to jump over uh, spaces and stuff like that. But nothing too amazing. Let's try this up here. One down. Bring in this guy here. There we go. Ah, it's so annoying sometimes because it literally is a struggle to get some of these guys killed. But. You eventually get it. The boss room should be my left here. Three and one. Why not? In here is a coliseum. You can actually go in and fight a bunch of enemies for some items. But I don't want to do that today. Oh crap. That was a lucky break there. And here we have the boss room. Let's see how fast we can get this guy over with. So we have uh, the horseman. I'm going to use the death card. I'm going to use my space bar item. Oh god, I got a good amount of damage on him there. Oh god. Oh my god. So as you can see, he's done in this. We can steal one more bomb, he's dead. This looks extremely easy, but honestly, when you first start playing this game, it is very hard. It is very hard indeed. 
That thing up there is called a deal with the devil room. You can trade some of your hearts for power ups and added bonuses. So I'm gonna go up and see what I have because I, I really don't care too much because I'm gonna end the video here. But we have Ouija board and nine lives. Nine lives gives you nine lives, but you only have one heart. And Ouija board lets you shoot through, uh, you know, item no, rocks and stuff. So I can see I can shoot through that. Uh, it's basically shooting through walls. Um, nine lives there gives you nine lives. I have ten there because I already had another life. And uh, pretty much lets you, uh, pretty much lets you live ten times. But uh, as a result, you only have one heart. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I know it's dragged on a little bit, but if you like this, come check out my channel. If you like the game, don't forget to support it in Steam. And I am Paul. I am signing out. And bye.